I'm going to be making some bubble bath bombs. And I'm going to do them in a donut shape. We're doing them in orange fragrance because I am a bath, a bubble bath fanatic. And I figure it's summer, I want something fun and citrusy. So I'm doing them in uh, fresh squeezed orange fragrance from Voyager Soap Company. And so I've got my mixture here. Um, I've got my baking soda, citric acid, and SLSA. Um, I have a little bit of my orange mica in there as well. Now I'm going to glove up and get started pouring in my wet ingredients, which I have my fragrance oil, I have some poly 80, and I have jojoba oil. So this is the mold we're going to use. It's a three-piece mold, and it's from Kada, C-A-D-A, Soapery over on Etsy. And uh, if you like the bath bomb press donuts, this is a great way to go, and it's more economical. So if you check out C-A-D-A -A Soapery over on Etsy, that's where I bought this set from. Um, I also have the heart shape as well, and they work great. So I'm going to start mixing part of my liquids in here. Just using my spatula just to kind of start get it started, you know. And I'll put, some, put the rest in. I love to use, this is my favorite now, jojoba oil in my bath bombs. Just because it's a light oil and it really makes my skin feel good uh, getting out of the bath. So, just a little bit left there. And then we'll get started mixing by hand here in a second. I'll get my gloves in there. And we'll start really blending this together. Oh my goodness, it smells so good. I just love this fragrance. And I just want to make sure we're well mixed. And then I have some witch hazel in a spray bottle to the side of me over here. And that's what I'll use to really make sure my mix is sticking together before we start to use our mold. Oh, it smells so good. So good. So as you can see, it's 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 holding together, but not very much. So we're gonna give it a good few spritzes over. You can use your own bath bomb mix. Don't uh, worry about. There's plenty of places to find recipes out there for bath bombs. Usually, it's a two to one mixture of baking soda and citric acid. And then, if you want to add bubbles, you know, put in the SLSA. Um, if you're using colorants, you know, make sure you know whether you need to use poly 80 or not. That helps disperse them into the water so you don't have to, you don't have it sitting on top of the water. I think that's, that's pretty good. Now, I thought I would see what this looks like if I sprinkle a little bit of calendula petals into the mold first, like so. You see that? Oh, just, just a little bit. And I'm gonna put in my bath bomb mix, just almost to the top here, like so. I'm not packing it down. And then we'll press, I'm clearing my Clearing the hole out in the center, right? And then just firmly pressing on both sides. And then kind of shifting the mold back and forth here. 
Oh, that's not going to stick. I can tell already. So what I'm going to do, usually it's a matter of not having enough in there. So I'm going to put some more and then really push it in. Clear that hole out again. It just makes a bigger bath bomb, but if you want, you can just break it in half to use it, which is usually what I do. Okay, so let's see. Oh, that's not sticking. Well, there you go. <laughs> I need to spritz it more. You never know with these. The last time I used these, it worked just fine. So I'm going to spritz with some more witch hazel. Mix it up some more. And we'll give it another try. It's almost like when you use the um, mooncake presses. Those are really tricky too, to know whether your mix is wet enough or too wet or not, you know. It's trial and error. So I am mostly, I make soap. I don't venture into these too much, these bath bombs, because they're a little finicky at times. Okay, so do this again. This time, I'm going to fill it fuller. I'm not packing down heavy with my hands. There we go. Now we'll see. Now we'll see. Um, let me grab my, uh, let me grab my scissors. I'm going to tap like so, like so, push up. So, and that one, knock on wood, held together, and we'll just set it there to dry. So, give it another shot here. I do like the look of the, the petals in there. I think they're really pretty. Okay, so again. These may not go as fast as the uh, that one bath bomb press, but it does give the same look to your bath bombs. Bomb number two. They're really cute. I used the last of my, uh, all the other, I had some heart shaped ones, bubble bath ones. So I've used them all, so I thought, oh, I better make myself some more. I gotta enjoy my baths while I can here. We're going on vacation. Actually, by the time you see this video, I'll be back, but all we have is a shower in our condo, so <laughs> I'm gonna miss my tub. Okay, 
there's that. Being a little stubborn. Here we go. There. Nice and pretty. So, I don't know how many people like showers versus baths. In our old house, for the first, I don't know, couple years we lived there, all we had was a small bathtub upstairs. I couldn't really... Um, Oops, I think I missed my pedals on that one. I couldn't really take baths in it because I like to stretch out, you know? And uh, just really lounge. Couldn't do it in that small tub. So we went and remodeled our basement bath and put in a big jetted tub. Well, we're thinking of remodeling this this house bathroom now because my husband would like a glass shower doors on his shower that he uses and then once in a while he likes to take a bath so he wants a bigger bathtub he finds the one here is just a little a little too little for him i think it's fine but Anyway, so I'm going to give this mix another spritz because it is starting to dry a little bit. Anyway, I said that's that's like the the last thing we would have to do in this house besides a little bit of painting downstairs still. Nothing major. But uh, other than that, we're, we're pretty much done with this house, thank goodness. Oops, a bit more. Always something when you own a home. There's always money to put into fixing up your place to get it the way you like it or doing repairs or this house also we had a repair to do on the on the big window downstairs was uh, drafty, the for our renters told us, so we had to have that window replaced, actually. Everybody who came to do an estimate commented on <laughs> how terrible the window was, which is not good for a, pretty much a new home. You know, this house isn't that old. So anyway... That was something that we hadn't intended on doing was that window. That was pricey. Those windows can be expensive. So there's another one. And I think I have enough to do one more. One more regular size. So it looks like I got six bath bombs out of that mix, which is good. That'll get me through till when we go on vacation. <laughs> anyway. But like I said, these, these bath bomb molds, they work really good. They give you the same look as you could, would get from the big bath bomb machine. Now, you could go and uh, drizzle these with uh, cocoa butter and then decorate them up some more. You could uh, frost them with your bubble frosting if you wanted to. But since these are just for me, I'm leaving them as is. And uh, 
brushing myself off with all this powder on me. Uh, but I'll bring it down here. So here we are. Our beautiful fresh squeezed orange bubble bath bombs in donut shape. And once again, the molds from uh, Cada, C-A-D-A, -A, Soapery, over on uh, Etsy. And uh, fragrance is uh, the Fresh Squeezed Orange from Voyager Soap and Candle Company. And uh, then I just put a little bit of uh, calendula petals on the top. It almost looks like uh, orange zest, which matches the fragrance. So just my lovely, simple bubble bath bombs, and I'm going to try one tonight during my bath, and I can't wait. So there you go. Go ahead and check out that shop over on Etsy and uh, give their molds a try. Let me know what you think of them. Uh, follow me over on Facebook at Dirty Booty Soaps and Instagram as well. And you can catch all my vacation photos over on Instagram also. So give me a follow over there. If you don't have an account, it's really easy. So until next time, we'll catch you on the next video. Bye for now.